I love how when I load up, it's just freaking Ashley saying, oh, this is great. Absolutely fantastic. But hi, Larry, what's up? Where? Oh. <laughs> That's why she said, oh, nice. Probably in that position. Anywho. So, this stream we're just going to focus on doing, like usual, everything in the Citadel. Uh, we're going to see if we can get Rex. Not sure. We're going to see if we can. But ask me again in an hour. Okay. Um, and then if there's time, we'll probably do some exploring. Or we'll go to Pharos. We'll see what happens. But... Since I gotta do everything now, that means I gotta go scan all the keepers. Fun task. Oop. I don't think there's a keeper over here. I gotta remember everything now. No. Okay, good. Kahoku. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. I'm an assistant. Congratulations on becoming the first human specter commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the specters. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. I wish now there was more to this quest. To check it out. Suddenly, it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you. If I find out about fancy um, addition, let you know. Yeah, no problem. I got uh, I got Bioware as a notification on Twitter, so. Something like that probably won't come out. I'm gonna Let's see if it's supposed to be spring. Out through official channels. Mm -hmm. hold my breath, though. Probably take a few more months. I'll the info on where my but I'll let you know. I'll probably share it to the group, too. Be like, alright, everybody, spend all your money. <laughs> Again. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Is there one over here? I don't think there is. Man, I wish I remembered where everything was at. Oh, yeah. Um, any pre-orders for the game, that's not going to... It won't be out yet for a while. If it's spring 2021, that probably means, like, latest would be May. So... Pre-orders maybe in March or April. We still got a while to go. Which is good. It gives you time to save up that money. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Hello. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Mm. Hey, Reckoning, what's maybe up? You're a soldier, right? If only they can make the ending not so traverse. bad. <sighs> I'm not See, that's soldier. what, you know... A specter. They say specter. it's just a uh, I heard they were remaster, they but I really wish they could add some things. We were talking that about that in a want, right? yesterday's stream. I hope they add, like, some My the little tweaks here and there to romances and the ending of ME3. Just but right off if it's just a remaster, probably not. Things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they then again, attacked. they probably had plenty of time to do it. And how hard could a remaster be? They could add some things here and there to make it last so long, you know? <laughs> Any idea why someone would attack them? 
Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. The one question I, I do I have about the remaster, though, is... I've got the coordinates for the last transmission The multiplayer. Vessel. Because they didn't say anything about the multiplayer, so, like... I don't know. I, it would have to connect to the multiplayer, right? I don't... That's, that's going to be a confusing thing. Because the multiplayer of ME3 is fun. Look how long Anthem took. Well, that was a brand new team. And Mass Effect. I think the remaster is being taken care of by a lot of the old people. So, I mean, you just think, this game, the first Mass Effect game, is now 13 years old. You think they could have collected 13 years of knowledge be like okay we could put this here we could put that there might not take so much work what kind of ship was it don't let the name fool you the majesty's just a small trading vessel only a handful of crew but he kept it in good condition i don't think mechanical failure is too likely but they don't have any real weapons or shields if anyone did come after them well the majesty'd be a sitting duck I mean, Emmy, Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer is kind of like its own thing. But Mass Effect 3, it does tie into your war assets, remember? So it's kind of it's kind of tied into the main game. If you want, you know, the best war assets as possible. But yet they didn't mention anything about it. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I'm, there's going to be more news about it as, you know, weeks go on, so we'll see. I, I know it's to the Presidium. Hey guys, it's our favorite part, the elevator. I miss the elevator. I want that back. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Yeah, uh, ME3's multiplayer is pretty connected to the single player. One thing they could do different is probably do it like Andromeda style where you can send out teams to do the missions and then you collect the rewards so you don't have to do it yourself. They might do something like that. That wouldn't be so bad. Okay, so remember, everything in the tower is done. Everything in the tower is done. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Mm -hmm. Please do not disturb the keepers. I'll disturb however much I want, lady. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Tell me again about your immune system. <laughs> I want more elevator talks. They're fun. Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. Makes my teeth tingle. Now, see, that's another thing to add. They could add a low hum so I could hear it, and I can't. I thought it didn't matter anymore. It still kind of matters. As far as. Probably as far as war assets go, it doesn't matter much, but remember, you have, so, the multiplayer is the whole galaxy map, and it always starts, every uh, cluster starts at 50%, right? Well, when you play, you know, they go up to 100%, which makes single player story better and, like, more prepared for the Reapers. It, it, still, it technically doesn't matter. 
but it's nice having a pretty blue map instead of a dead red one, <laughs> you know? And I mean, I don't mind the multiplayer. It's fun, so. It'd be cool if they update that, too. Spectre, I have a business proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do, but this would be easy work for you and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. It did influence enough to even if you didn't acquire all possible assets. Was that before or after the DLC, though? That might have been before, like, all the DLC and whatnot. I feel like I kind of agree with Larry where they did later on change that so you didn't have to play multiplayer. Because that pissed people off. Um... But I think if you just did all the single player stuff and you did it, like... That's the thing. If you did all the single player stuff, you would have to do it like Paragon. Then you'd probably be fine. It's still currently like that? Okay. I'll definitely have to look up on it because that probably means Cassandra's not going to do too good. <laughs> What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. That's that. And we're still gonna have to come back here eventually. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. I'm sure I won't. Oh, yeah, let's see, juicy bits. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, thank you. Look at all them robot heads. I love it. Filling up that cup of robots. Gotta love robots. I should probably sell the stuff that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I could turn it all to Omnigel. But who has time for that? Not me. Just get rid of everything that I think is Garbo. All the Garbo stuff. Oh, I don't need that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I guess that's probably everything, huh? I can get rid of everything else later. Only once I'm broke, you're good. It's about, what, like 25 cent more than I had. Really, even if you did like literally everything? Yeah, I never had that problem either. Like, did you do like literally everything in the first and second game too? Because there are some, uh, some side quests you didn't think would matter but actually do. Like, for example, all these licenses that I have to go to each shot and buy, they're actually very important for Conrad. And I'm not joking, you can Google it. It's important for Conrad in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> so that's why you gotta buy them. <laughs> hmm. That is really weird, though, because, like, Larry, I have, I've never had a problem. Then again, the last time I played, I can't really remember not playing the multiplayer. Just because I do enjoy the multiplayer. So. We can always find that out this time. Because unfortunately, I don't think BB has a... Uh, I think she um, stores her Xbox, so can't exactly play multiplayer. I mean, I could play it, but it'd be by myself. Caden, what do you want to talk about? Stop writing. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? Yeah, it could be quite easy to miss anything, really. But if you're conf confident that you did, like, 100% everything, like, you explored everywhere and whatnot... Because, like, even in Mass Effect 1, all the exploring and all of the little mineral, like, the three mineral patches you have to find on each planet, they're very important. Um, there's something else that's really important when you're exploring. Like, it, it's, there's so many little things that, like, make such a huge impact in Mass Effect 3 for some reason. Can I do this now? Let's find out. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, <laughs> three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Yeah, I could do it. Okay, cool. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. My god, is that more bits? What is it this time? Oh my god, it's a little snowman! Ah, oh, you got freaking robots and snowman in the cup. Huh. 
It appears the consort has taken notice of you. The snowmen She'd are like going to rust out the uh, the robots. That might not be a good thing there, Larry. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. Yeah, like, She'll what do you mean by you. best ending? Like, really, what I think of as best ending is just... Good they are Geth. The only thing I think of when I think of best ending is that, you know, I think you need... The minimum is, like, 1,500 war assets, something like that. It's something over 1,000. But if you get your little green bar over that line, even just a little bit, you should have the best ending, technically. What you want, blue lady? That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. Is it actually possible to not be able to if pick? If you can convince him to stop spreading lies... I've never heard that before. Be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Huh. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. I wonder what's gonna happen with Cassandra's playthrough. I mean I know what's gonna happen, but I don't know what's gonna happen Mass Effect 3 wise. So I've you know, never done it. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Ah, not being able to pick an ending. Like, what happens? You just lose? I'm not getting any money. Come on now. I know I got, what is it, nine million or billion, but I could always use more. The game picked for you, depending on how well the war table looked. I wonder how it would choose. Because I'm already going to imagine you couldn't do the control ending. I would feel like the only ending you could probably do would be destroy. Or you lose. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there I something didn't want I to talk to you? him. 
My Last bad. Private, this <laughs> isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge. You might be too tired. I might be making it Thanks, all kid. up. Have fun. I mean, I've never I heard it before. Too much trouble. But I'm not, you know, I will. I'm not going to say it doesn't exist because I got into Mass Effect late, so. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Whoops. Oh, please. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. How long do you think this research is gonna take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. Mm. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Yeah, I'll try it. I've never done this route before. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Nirali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha. Your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. If the military had asked your wife to submit the test to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Huh. It's definitely a sad situation. But to be completely honest, when I was first doing this quest, like, the very first time, I mean, I kind of agree with running the tests, because it makes sense. You know? She was military. She devoted her life to humanity. I have a feeling if I didn't have Ash, it probably wouldn't have worked. Um... But it's not like he would never get the body back, you know? The guy said, like, a year or more, and I mean, like... 
I guess it's religious views too. Why? Because a body's just a shell. You know? But we won't get into all that. But what I'm saying is I agree. Tests probably should be run. Especially when you're going up against an enemy who hasn't come out in over two centuries. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I guess I didn't have to come back and tell him. Well, that's good then. That's done. Look at you being number one in everything, Larry. What's this first first one? Does it tell me? Oh, 31 month subscriber. You're so awesome, Larry. And you're the number one bit leader. I don't think there's anything else in here. It would drive you mental. I mean, I could see it. There's definitely good and bad sides to it. Where's the keeper? Well, I guess I can't go in that building yet. <laughs> Alright, where am I going next? I gotta think. To be your guide. I know I gotta go this way. That's right. That is right. I remember. The ship, your ship can be destroyed. Yeah, you probably would need multiplayer. At least a little bit. You wouldn't have to do multiplayer like crazily, but probably a little bit. I did forget about that. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> that Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big <laughs> stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If I've been missing out all these years. I'm pretty sure we have been getting the perfect ending, Larry. Because, I mean, I remember seeing the ship being destroyed, I think, like, once. It's definitely something to look up. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not. If you ask to learn if the game does lock endings the depending upon actions from previous games. When they huh. feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. Best it can, I mean, yeah, that is true. The best it can be or what you want. <laughs> If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in CSEC. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. Do you desire to learn of the Inkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? 
The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. If you want people's respect, you have to follow the rules. Buy the permit and stay out of here. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Uh -huh. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. I was disappointed, too, that the only way your shepherd could live is through destroying. I remember, because my very, very first playthrough, okay? My very first playthrough, I was playing as me, and I romanced Caden. We got to the ending, and they gave me the three choices, and I was like, well, I don't want to control, that seems stupid. You know, the elusive man tried to do that and failed. Destroy, you know, I don't want to destroy, you know, the Geth, you know, they just got back together with the Quarians, and I don't want to, you know kill Edie and whatnot. I mean, being in that, you know, technology advanced and then having it just all go away is weird. So I went with the synthetic ending because, I don't know. I mean, the way they made it sound to me, it sounded like I would still live. And I just kept watching the whole ending thinking, oh, my shepherd's still alive. She definitely didn't disintegrate, but no. No, she disintegrated. So I was upset by that. It would be really cool if, uh... Again, they're not gonna do this because it doesn't... It'd probably be a big... It might be too big of a task, but... For everybody who complained about the Mass Effect 3 ending and then they pointed out, hey, you know, we got the Reaper IFF in Mass Effect 2. Edie should still have the code. Why can't we just input that code into the conduit and kill all the Reapers? Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, th that's best ending in my opinion. Baby, thank you for hosting. Oh, oh, oh. You just missed missed me calling the uh the Hanar a big stupid jellyfish. So Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, Damn. don't let anybody know. <laughs> A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Is, are like we matching exactly? Pretty much. Interesting. Can't do that yet. I don't remember how. Oh, I remember how I start that. Okay, never mind. I remember. Back to the wards, do all this stuff, and we'll see soon enough if we can still get Rex. I don't know if we can. Those Asari commandos are impressive. Lightly armored, but their speed more than makes up for it. Unless that speed lets them outrun bullets, I'm more inclined to stick with nice, solid armor. 
and a big gun. Point taken. Is that Tally is best girl? Tally is pretty much best girl. Absolutely. Tally is best girl and Garrus is best boy. Best friends. Um, I think I already got the keeper in here. Just make sure. Yes, okay. I hope I live long enough to see cars like this and are flyable. That'd be nice. And I got that keeper already. Cool. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Uh, yeah, Tally and Garrus is pretty much a dream team. They're really good together. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening. You got Tally, who's the short Who range, that? Garrus, who's the long someone range, and then you in past. the middle. Perfect. I can take care of it. It's even more perfect if you're a biotic person, then you got all the, you know, all your stuff covered. Rex and Tally are pretty fun too. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They They're all fun, but Talia Fist, yeah. She's pretty, she's pretty besto. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? They won't bother you again. I guarantee it. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Yeah, I'll be fine. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit. Yeah, it really does I'd suck that happy to compensate you Koreans and the other you races are. aren't in Andromeda. Now, excuse me, I should go see what and we are really hoping we get the DLC with them, but no, instead we got a book. Yeah. Freaking, uh... What's-her-face? She is hungry for Gare Bear. And no, Gare Bear is ours.
best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? I definitely haven't, Show me what but you've okay. Got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. Yeah. But change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. I have to say, Shut though, up. I think the only I companions I liked in Andromeda up. were... What the hell's going Vetra. On Who are you? Jaw. Drac. That was his name, right? That's basically it. <laughs> Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. I think my least favorite was Cora. You just bring me those supplies. Then PB, then Liam. I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried. Or I bury Drac was great. Okay, yeah. I was right. <laughs> hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. <laughs> Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you, you know still about haven't Bane? finished it, BB? Ah, <sighs> BB. I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with a doctor. If everybody else has to suffer, you have to suffer too, BB. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. <laughs> no. But, baby, don't you want to ride that new alien deek? Don't you? <laughs> I'll go this way. I'll tell you, BB, it's worth it. Oh, is it worth it? <laughs> uh, uh, this way. Where is the there he is? Commander. <laughs> what do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Oraka, general of the Turian fleet. Some general? What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. <laughs> Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, general. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. What's worse, not finishing no. Andromeda or not so finishing any of the Dragon spite. Age Just by owning all of them? Yeah. Act like a yeah. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. The only upsetting thing with back. the remaster coming out next year means that Dragon Age isn't coming out next year. Ew. Dragon Age is probably going to come out 2022 then. 
Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Oh, see, Bubbles agrees. Well, the last time he saw me, I, I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. We'll see about that. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women. Oh my god, are those corgis? Are those corgi heads? Oh my god. I want the cup to be filled with nothing but corgi heads. The corgis will eat the snowman and then pee on the robots, making them rust. Severed heads. <laughs> yeah, but now it's so full. Could you imagine somebody just like donated a lot? Had a rich person in here, and then you got that little gem that just makes us boop. Everything comes out of the glass. All right, I gotta talk to the doctor, and then I gotta go up to the casino. Whoops, sorry. I'm okay with that happening. <laughs> they just ruin all your hard work. He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. A thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was Oh, that's so sweet. In the Traverse. Was your bit cup, the like, super filled? Was it satisfying? We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Uh, I need supplies. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Uh, do you have anything that I actually need? No. Okay. Alright, so now I gotta go up to the casino. And then I think I can go to Seastack and see if we can still get Rex. You're playing the game, I missed it. <laughs> Aww. There's always a next time. Do you record your streams? You probably could have watched it on playback. To be careful who you say that around. What? Oh man, my sisters would love this place. Maybe when this is all over, I'll bring them here for a girls' night out. 
Wait, why can't I dance? Well, I guess I can't dance yet. Wait, can I dance? No, I can't dance yet. Damn it. Gotta help first before you can dance. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, Oh, you play copyright music so you don't say them. That's you know. That's what you gotta do. So uh what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get Yeah, involved. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I like the music in this club way better than Cora's Den. <laughs> If only they didn't have that one, like, annoying NPC always talking. There we go. Okay, so now I have to go... Pack to Cora's Den, I think? Who would have thought when we first played this? Not me! <laughs> that was a shock when I first played it. I was like, oh yeah, that chick. Oh, okay. Uh, I gotta go downstairs. Dance, dance, I go. Why I should fight a mess, Jimmy? Do, 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 do. I don't want to. Thank you. Yep. talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. <laughs> Oops. God, Turian just touched me. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. <laughs> what was that about? I guess we better go find out. Okay, so now I go to CSEC. <sighs> do I have anything else to do? I don't think so. I think I just go to CSEC. Which I can go... No, I can't go this way. I gotta go this way.
Yeah, I did all that, did all that. Alright, now I can go down. We'll see if we can get him. Strange. The Geth are attacking, and everyone around here is still worried about ordinary business. It's politics, Williams. The Council won't raise the alarm until they're certain about the threat. The threat? Did they not see the vids of Eden Prime? See, this is why I hate politics. Yeah, well, they only attacked one colony, so... And it was human, so apparently they don't care. Alright, let's save. Alright, here comes moment of truth. Can we still get Rex? <sighs> no. Well then. Oh! Yes. Yes, we still can. <laughs> Full beans. Okay. Let me get this one. Hmm, can't get that. Sure. He's threatening Wrong side, yeah. Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he won't. Hey there. Oh, you're not C Sec, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following what me. What do you think Volus looked like? Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the market. They probably look like a mole. He said he just wanted to talk, Oompa but Loompas, I don't think... you know what? That's better than a mole. His name's Shorbin. He's a Solarian. I'm thinking a mole because kind of how trouble. it looks. He's just a scientist. Shorbin? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. Little the mini keepers? Trumps. Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. A biotic guy. Well... Well, what does the biotic god look like underneath BB? If I find out he's lied to me. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Anything he wants. Detective Chill. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always playing the angles, detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? Fix whose voice? 
Come on, Chalik. Do you really need a little human girl to help you solve your case? Okay, maybe you're right. She's not really cut out for this anyway. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Whose voice are we talking about? Named Jax. Chelix? the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Really? I have never noticed. <laughs> never. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can Yeah, I've never possible. noticed. Uh, now you guys are going to make me want to listen where to him. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the market. It markets. sounds the same to me. through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. When I get back? Okay. So that's when it sounds different when I come back to him? Well, let's see what this conversation with Rex is like, because I have no idea. You, human, you the one they call Shepard? Maybe. Who wants to know? The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist, only you got there first. It's not my fault you were slow on the draw. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it. Alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your Oh, account. thanks. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Saren? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. We don't know that Saren has Krogans yet. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. That was a bit weird. Sec, hooking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. 
I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Is this better than what I have? How do I know? It's better than what I have. <laughs> I think that's it. If it's a 10, get it. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so now where do I go? I think I gotta go back this way. Shepard, are you cold? Did I say In Tinkerbell? I said Shepard. Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist I that think my puppy's Prime cold. was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. He's so cute. Tinkerbell, yeah, that's my mom. One of my mom's cats. Tinkerbell, she's a calico. She's right here. You can't see her. She's like right there though. <laughs> so. Okay, so I need to go over yonder and then back and forth back and forth I also don't remember which spot is the next part of this hacker thing I don't remember Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Yeah, that looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Nobody died. I could shoot someone if it make you feel better. Nah. That what thing, hacker? Yeah. The little money hacker thing. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Jaleed told us what you've been up to. You... Spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? That's what all the fuss is about? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. No. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. 
That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill Starts your partner. Starts in the game. I'm not trying to kill him. down where you... Elite's job was to disseminate our initial findings. Looked. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe okay. I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Larry. I should kill both of you idiots. Okay, I was right then. So I have to go back down to that one section. Couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. All right, I'm going back to Chalik. We'll see if his voice is different, if I can tell. I bet you I can't. Just one or two lines, but you must be able to tell. We'll see. Again, all my years of playing this, I've never noticed. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked that, why that, communication but. with the survey team It looks team like it's a butt from here, but week, from here, no butt. To comment. But, no butt. But, no butt. The same with Caden. Kinda. Sorta. No butt. But. No butt. <laughs> butt shot. You gotta love the butt shots. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. In space, lying? no one has a butt. Oh, that's Why sad. Why to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin. You two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Alright. Moment of truth. something for me here's your shipment Chalik excellent this is everything I need huh. maybe more than I need here commander take this I won't need it you've earned some payment for your work I appreciate your help it shows a lot of integrity you didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. That last one? Was that it? That last one sounded a little bit weird. Yeah, okay. All right.
definitely sound weird, but are we for sure it's like a different person? Maybe they just effed up the uh, subharmonics in the editing or something. <laughs> you sure? Look it up. <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh Ooh. Uh oh yeah, I have to talk to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> the barking woke you up. Um. So I gotta go talk to the dude. I gotta speak to Shiara. Uh. <laughs> Shepard scares everybody. <laughs> Coming up in a report later today. He's Emily very protective Warren over me. Corruption on the Citadel. And if the room if my room is nice and quiet and then, you know, suddenly there's a noise, he's like, "What was that?" <laughs> You have no idea how loud that was, AZ. I mean, I live with it. And he barks a lot, so I know. Yeah, what is it? Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. Either you're cheating or you're not. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Well, do you all got your volume all the way up? You shouldn't have your volume all the way up, guys. That's bad for your ears. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can- Just try living with that bark. Oh, so it's our- I mean, it is! <laughs> Can you do that? Isn't but that seriously, illegal? try living with that. It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Ah. <laughs> I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. 
I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. I could dance now. Hey there, welcome to Flex. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. I think that tool should be worth something to you. Cassandra doesn't I like cheaters. Uh, take a few tries of Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Tell you answer the question, yeah. Enjoy time here at Flux. Alright, so... I'll play a few rounds. Uh, I'll take that payout. <laughs> Is there a higher stakes one? Hold on. Low, high, not like I need the money. I'll take it. I'm done. <laughs> no, I lost. Do a little dip. Oh, wait, I can't dance yet still? I guess I can dance when I come back. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Get a job. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Okay. So what's up with you, dog? <laughs> You're so cute. He's a cute doge. Yes, I already got the uh, hacker thing up there. So I have to go... Uh, I have to go down to the one thing, but is that it? Yeah, I think so. I think that's all I gotta do left here. I think to get there, I go this way. Boop. Well, problem, we're, I made good time, I and mean, we'll finish up all this stuff, and then we'll, you know, get our ship, probably end it there. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that I'm getting a little bit tired, but I can't go to bed because I still gotta work out. Be disturbed. 
The excavation okay. team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. <laughs> He's such a protector, you guys. Especially because I gotta get this butt head in his cage. Work out before bed, that's not a great idea. Well, that's what I gotta do. I usually work out in the morning, but um, I can only do that on days when I don't work early in the morning. And I didn't feel like working out before the stream, so. And I, I gotta work out. <laughs> At least one workout video. Binary Helix I've been doing it for about a week and a half. Krogan I can't stop. That had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan Group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I'll probably just do one video. I technically have four videos to do because I skipped two, but I can handle that tomorrow because I'm off. Yeah. Okay, so I need to talk to the guy over here. I gotta go to that place. Uh, I'll go talk to the guy over here first. No, I'm not making any. I'm following a person on YouTube. Yep, yep. I could not do workout videos. I am not a <laughs> workout savvy. <sabe. laughs> Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your Little Joe's tired. Oh, poor Larry. I'm so sorry. You're so loyal. Is the keeper here? Why? Oh. Well. I guess that works. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. It's cool, cool. I can just go to bed. I don't I need to work out. Septimus How lucky are you? The only way lucky, lucky, lucky. Is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. <laughs> that was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. 
Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. I feel like just listening to Alcors can help you sleep. Okay, so now I gotta go over here and that should be it. We'll go this way. Oh, never saw that before. That's because I never go this way. A uh, couple's not there. I think they're there next time. Excuse me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey. Thank you. As best I can tell, the receiver for the new signal is somewhere on the city. I think I went to all the shops, so I should be good. This must be the signal's endpoint. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. What the hell is that? Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, Given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Huh. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Uh, uh, uh. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Hey, the Turian. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. I will see about that. Haha! <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Sorta, kinda. Yes! Is it gonna go? Aw, oh, some of the robots came out! Oh, but look how filled it is! Oh, it's so filled! Glass filled with heads. So nice. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 
girl bought money seemed like a good time for it. True. Very true. <laughs> This should be the last thing. I hope. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Um, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Oh, <laughs> okay. Not awkward at all. Okay, this Excuse is happening. <laughs> In light of your efforts with the Elcor ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you you get renegade for sleeping with her. How nice. I kind of didn't want her to sleep with her, but I think it's okay. Well, I'll head canon that, you know, Shaira has some sort of, like, mind control abilities. <laughs> That's why, like, everybody's in love with her. Um, so, that should be everything now. Yes. Yes, okay. I can go to the thingy majigger. And up I go. You guys ready to hear Cassandra's speech? <laughs> In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Not really. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. What do you want, Ashley? Well, this is quite the view, Commander. It is, isn't it? Very pretty. Let me just get this last keeper. Perfect. Oh. 
All right. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs in Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. <laughs> Mysterious. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau I'll cluster. start with Pharos. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. He was smart. You needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple diversion. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. Oh well. <laughs> there was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectre. Yeah, I kind of hope the conversation when I finally get with Liara, it's like, oh yeah, I met your mom, she's dead. <laughs> I hope it's just like as simple as that. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. 
I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Boop. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? Uh, no. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, time for the super special speech, and then we'll end the stream there. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. No, Caden, you're not going to get decontaminated. Caden, you're dirty. Caden! Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken out by oh, the oh, oh, oh. Just watch Oh, uh, four back. hearts made Things it. Go bad on this Thank mission, you. You're chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past, no reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to <laughs> us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. <laughs> well said, Commander. Garrus and Rex did not like that. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> Garrus and Rex did not like that. That was, ooh, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, I guess that's what happens. My bad, but not really my bad, because I'm supposed to be Cassandra, so... Yeah, yeah. Let me just uh, do this really quick. And I think that's all the things. Yeah, that's all the things. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. Um, I have to decide... Because I'm kind of thinking about not talking to any of the aliens. I'm kind of thinking of just talking to, like, Joker, Kate, and Ashley. Just ignoring everybody else. I might do that. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm going to end the stream there. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in and for all the continued support. Be back tomorrow. Same time. And, yeah, have a good night. Bye! Bye bye guys! Bye 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 bye! Bye!